So tell us a little bit about your background and how you got started with Lev Promotions. Well, I kind of fell into it. In uh, 1996, I actually left my full-time office job. I was pregnant with my first one and decided to take what I was doing in the office and do it on my own. At the time, it was called desktop publishing. Today, we call it graphic design. And I was doing that for a few years. I kind of fell into also doing handcrafted art that I would sell at craft shows. So I did designs for my daughter that people saw and liked and they wanted to buy it so I ended up selling decorated onesies and little t-shirts, mostly baby stuff, a little bit of jewelry at craft shows. One day one of my clients comes to me and says, we only need six t-shirts for an event we're having. And six t-shirts is very expensive to produce. I said, sure, no problem. I'll design it on the computer. I had a professional grade heat press, did six t-shirts. Six months later, they come to me and say, we need balloons for an event. Can you do balloons for an event? I said, sure, no problem. And then I thought, I don't think that balloons on a heat press is going to work too well. It's going to be kind of messy. Got online, did some research, found a place that would do the balloons for me, and I fell into promotional products. And what I found was that I was taking my marketing background, combining it with promotional products, to find solutions that would work for my clients from a marketing aspect, not just a, hey, here's something I can give you. Right. And, uh, and so that was in 1996. In 2005, we officially changed the name of the company to Lev Promotions and focused primarily on the marketing side. And I know when we first met, you told me a little bit about the story behind your name and kind of what it means. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's something you want to share. but Sure. My name, it's actually Hebrew. And in Jewish culture, it's common to name your child after a deceased grandparent to honor them. Well, my parents apparently couldn't pick one. So in Hebrew, my name has three letters. And each one of the letters stands for a different grandmother's first name. Oh, that's beautiful. It's, it's really cool. It's, my name is a pain in the neck, but it starts <laughs> a lot of conversation. Because it's spelled R-A-M-A. -A. Yeah, they should have put an H at the end of it. But my yeah. parents were kind of still new to this country. They, they emigrated from Israel. And they didn't know that they should put an H, although in Hebrew it does end in kind of the letter H. But it's pronounced Rema, Rema. as if there was mm -hmm. an E there. Yeah. That's my, it's funny. My dad, when I was a kid used to tell me that I owned the Ramada Inns. They were named after me. And I say, well, then why do we stay at the Travelodge? 